Thanks for being here. It has happened again in Somerset County, an accident with a train on the tracks. This time a truck carrying ground up plastics and a train collided, shutting down part of Route 31 for hours. Maria Miller was there shortly after the accident. Maria, what happened? Well, Jen, Marty, we weren't able to find anyone who actually saw the crash happen, but we talked with several people who heard it, some on the other side of town. Many of them rushed to the scene saying they knew exactly what had happened. Normally, the train just beeps, like beep, 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 but then this was a steady beep, like, and then the next thing you know, after the steady beep, bam, like something got blowed up or hit hard. Charles Bookheimer described to us what many people in Somerset Borough heard just before 11 o'clock Wednesday morning as a CSX locomotive crashed into a tractor trailer. I knew it was a wreck because the train stopped, but every time the train stops, something happens out here. It happened at the intersection of Pleasant Avenue and East Main Street in the borough. Police on scene said the driver of the trunk told them he was turning right onto East Main Street, but didn't see the no crossing lights that were activated and blinking red because of a blind spot in his cap. He told police by the time he heard the whistles blaring and saw the train out his window, it was too late. The truck driver said he didn't see the lights and uh, he missed it and the train got him. Luckily, police say no one was hurt. The driver of the trunk himself was walking around talking with investigators. And other than a small amount of smoke coming from the cab, it didn't even appear to have a scratch. The trailer, however, was ripped off and on its side, and one of the train car's doors was still dangling. Route 31 was shut down for at least three hours as crews cleared the scene and crowds gathered to watch. The accident happened just a couple of blocks away from another intersection that's been the scene of several accidents involving trains in recent years. The commission is currently investigating whether the signs and markings posted there are adequate enough to prevent accidents. Now, right now, there's nothing to say that the truck driver today was trying to beat that train. The accident, of course, though, is still under investigation. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.